In this In the Shop episode, we're going to take the motor cover and strip off all the old insulation off of it and put some better insulation and sound deadening. So come along for the ride as we mod our RV. And here we are, we're going to start our first modification and it's going to be on the engine cover. Now this is the engine cover that goes over the RV engine, the gas engine up front. Uh, it puts out a lot of heat, puts out a lot of noise. So what we're going to do is take the insulation out of the inside of this and put new rubber stripping on and new insulation that we ordered offline and, and uh, this stuff is what they use for hot rods to keep heat down and to keep uh, noise down. So we're going to give it a try. It's not cheap but hey I'm tired of hearing all that noise and I've only driven it for five days. So we're going to try and clean this up today and then later on in the week we'll get that in from Amazon and we'll go ahead and put it on here and we'll film that too. So let's get at cleaning it up. It's going to be a mess, but hey, it is what it is. So here's the underside of that uh, engine cover. And what we're looking at, it already has some kind of insulation on it. But if you can see, it's just like foam rubber with a little bit of aluminum on it stuck on there. So I think it's more a heat shield than a noise shield. So what we're going to do, also it's got this rubber gasket here which of course isn't long enough so it didn't lay down right. So what we're going to do today is try to get all this off, clean it up, and then we'll be ready next week when we get, or yeah, the uh, Wednesday or Thursday of this week, we'll get some more stuff in to do it. And what we got, like again, is what I said was uh, not only a heat shield, but a noise shield. So hopefully it'll hold down some of the noise. So we'll get at taking all this stuff off of here and cleaning it up. Okay, here's the stuff that we need basically to finish up this job. We've got two pieces of uh, rubber to stick down around the edge down here to try and help cut down the noise and a piece around the front. And then we've got this kill mat. We got this off of Amazon and it's supposed to be pretty good stuff for not only the uh, sound deadening but the heat. We're going to try and lay two la layers on it, like I was saying. But this is what they tell you in the kit you'll need. You need a pair of scissors, a cutter, a roller, and, of course, a measuring uh, device there so that you can tell how big you need everything. So what we're going to do first is we're going to cut it out and then stick it down and see how that goes. So let's get at it. Okay, what we've noticed so far is it, it sticks down pretty good if you use this roller. Now, I didn't really clean the goo off of the inside of this because it's sticky too. So I figure sticky on sticky, good deal. And that's what it looks like it's doing. It's really sticking down good. And they say to not peel the paper off the whole way, just a little bit at a time like anything else, and then smooth it down with your hand. And once you have it down there, then roll it. And the rolling really seems to get it down in the grooves and gets down in there and really getting it stuck real good. And because it's, it's warm today, it's probably 70 already, um, you don't really need a heat gun. Now, if it's cold, you might need a heat gun to heat the stuff up, but, but so far, I'm pretty impressed with the way it goes on. It's, it's actually fairly easy. Now we'll pull this back a little more. Peel some more of this off, smooth it down by hand. Now there are some screws sticking up that screw the top end. We broke those off as close as we could, but it is going to stick up. So what we're going to do, we're going to put another layer on it anyway. So when we do that, it's a, it'll take care of that. Plus we got some aluminum tape. We're going to put aluminum tape on every place that there's a joint on the first coat and the second coat and that'll help that also. So again, rub it down with your hand, form it, and then roll it. A 
rolling it like that really gets it stuck down good, which is the whole thing. It must not have air bubbles in it or anything. It's got to be stuck down real good. All right, that's a good start. Let's put some more down and come back to you later. Okay, we're back. I know we didn't show a lot about how to do it because it took like two or three hours for us to get it done, but we've got it done. We still have a half a box left of this stuff, and we ended up putting two layers on it. Um, I'm going to put some tape on this side a little bit. I taped all the gaps before, if we had any. Uh, I really don't think I need to, but I'm going to put some of these big runs right here. I'll put some tape on it so dirt doesn't get up in there. So, But basically, we've got the the trim rubber on all the way around. We've got two layers of the, uh, the kill mat, and we're going to see how it's going to work. So we're going to put it back on today, and, and then uh, when we test it out, we'll, we'll see uh, if it's a little bit quieter. I think it's going to be quieter. It's supposed to be, and uh, it should be cooler also. This, this looks uh, like it's definitely going to cut down on some of the heat from that engine. So ready to go back on. That's done, Whew. and we didn't cuss much. Anyway, that's back down. Uh, we put some different bolts in there, which were uh, same length, but had some really good heads on it, not the not the uh, screwdriver heads. So, anyway, it should work for now, and I guess we'll start it up and see what it sounds like. I think it's quieter. I think it's a lot quieter. Of course, the engine's not revving up real high. We're not going up a hill, so that's, uh, you know, we'll wait and see on that one. But even with the windows open, it's a lot quieter than it was, I think. So that was a job well worth doing. Uh, again, that's Kill Matt. You can get it up on Amazon. Uh, the box I bought was, I think it was like $60. And that was for like 36 square feet, and uh, that's not 36 square feet. I put uh, I put two layers on it, and I think I got enough for another two. So if I think it's still kind of uh, loud or warm, I'm gonna add another layer. And just keep going until I run out of that stuff. Made it a little bit heavier, but how often do you take it off? So we're good. So kill mat. Sounds like some pretty good stuff. Wasn't that bad, as expensive as I thought it would be. So here we go. Uh, down the road we go. Thanks for watching Down the Road We Go in the Shop series. In our next video, we're going to show how we mount all the filters and water softeners inside the RV so we don't have to pick them up and put them outside and back in again. So come along for the ride as we're still modifying our new RV.